hey hi friends welcome to today's video today we are going to discuss a very important topic uh, which is closer now i have already made a video on like what is escaping closer what is non escaping closer in this session i will not be focusing much on the theory instead of theory i will be focusing on machine level code that is generally asked on the closures okay so before going further let's first discuss what is closures so closures are self containing block of functionality that can be passed around and used in your code okay and this is the closure declaration we have parameters we have return type and then we have the body which is called a statement where parameters can be any value that is passed to closure return types what the closure is returning to you and in is optional used to separate parameter and return type from closure body okay so please watch this video till end this is going to be very interesting topic and if you have not subscribed this channel then please subscribe it okay so let's continue now so the first question which generally asked is like how you can define a simple closer okay so let's do that uh, i'll just type a simple closer where message equals to print hello world so this is a closer which i have defined here here this is the closer name and then we have a statement here okay so there is no parameter there is nothing return type and then i will i can call my closer like this okay now if i run it it will print me hello world okay now next question here it can come that how can i define a closer with a parameter okay so let's define that also so what i will do i'll just call where and here i'll just take something as argument and this i'm going to pass let's say that you are going to say good morning to someone so i can just take the argument as a string and then inside it i'm going to print good morning and then nay okay now this is done let's call this function sorry closer and now once i call it it will print okay it's giving some error let's see what is the error missing argument for okay so i have to pass the argument let's add the argument which is basically nay let's call good morning nilesh yeah good morning nilesh okay so this closer without any parameter without any return type and this is a closer with a parameter but no return type okay now let's define a closer that return value also okay let's say it takes a value and returns a value okay so i'll call it like where let's say sum to number and then i'll pass uh two number basically here so num one int and then one more number num two int and then a return type so return type will be also integer okay and then i simply do return num one plus num two okay now let's print and uh, what we have to print sum of two number and then this is going to take two thing okay so first is two and let's say four now if i run this it is printing me six okay let's say that if someone asks you that define a closer as a function parameter okay so this was and then this was closer with parameter and this is closer with parameter and return type okay now next we are going to see closer as function parameter okay now let's define that func 
and then again let's say say noon and here it's going to take again let's say that a simple closer without any value something like that so i'll just say uh, greet or yeah greet and no return type no argument okay so this is the most common closer which generally you use while using a compass handler blocks okay and then i'll just call this read from here okay the closer call and then you can call this like something like say noon and like this this is the way how you call a closer as a function parameter okay so one of the very common and important uh, interview question which is generally you know they will ask you to twist on the closer is this one so let me just type the question will be something like this let closer equals to like this and then where name equals to my name or symbol is and then here i'm going to just write print i love and then me okay and then call the closer now this is very straightforward i think almost every one of you will answer that the output is going to be i love me list and that's what i'm getting it also okay now i'm changing it little bit okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm capturing this value also okay like this and then here i'm changing the value to add the local okay now when i ask you this question now there can be two possibility either the answer is i love milis or it can be i love add the local i would love you to write down in the comment what you are thinking at this point of time whether the answer is i love milis or i love add the local and then go forward on this video okay so if i run this the answer is i love app developer okay so it's not taking i love the list that means we are changing the value and the same value is getting reflected here now i'm again making a slight change i'm writing a in step line here okay simple thing now let's run it again and in this case if you see the answer is i love the list not i love app developer okay see a simple word in making it makes a huge difference now why does the answer gets changed in this case if, if i am using in and then if i am changing the value it's taking the previous value it's not taking the new value that you are passing and this is because the capture list of the closer creates a copy of this name when you are writing this closer it it the capture list of this particular closer create a copy of this particular variable okay now when you try to change this value it is not modifying that copy okay so afterward when you try to change this value it has no effect because the closer is already holding the name which is having the value as nilis okay so that's the reason that in this particular scenario when i'm changing the name variable it is not changing okay so remember this point now let's make it one level more complicated okay so i'll just call it as var let's say technology and i'll write it here let's say ios okay now here i'll again print i love technology okay and now i'll change this technology to android now what should be the answer i love nilis and in the next case whether it should be i love ios or i love android okay now guess your answer write in the in the comment so i'm just running it and i and i'm seeing that the, in this case the answer will be i love nilis and the next answer will be i love android not ios now let's run and check it and if you see the answer is i love android and now you can just try to relate what i just told you some time back so for technology you are not holding the, the closer is not holding any 
copy of it okay so it's directly referencing it from this particular variable now when you are changing this variable it is getting reflected at this point of time so in this case when you you, know, you change this to any other thing it will print the same thing but for the name again i'm repeating that the closer is capturing and keeping a copy of it so when you are changing this name it is changing it here that's correct it's not like that that, that name is not changing but this name is different from this particular variable this is actually a copy which closer has or has already created and kept for it so this is like one of the common question where you can be a you know, little confused now let's see one more question which is you know sometime asked on the closer and let me type that thing so let's say that i have a function called execute okay and uh, this is a closer which is returning let's say a uh, integer and at it i will have a variable called input let's say which value is 0 and then i am returning a closer here and what i am doing this closer is also capturing one value and then here I'm returning and just what I'm doing I'm writing input equals to input plus output and then return okay now let's use this closer so what I'm going to do I'm going to create first object of my execute so I'll call it as something operand operation and then I'll create this and then I'll create three variable let a equals to and I'll pass some value let's say that I pass five okay now let's copy this and paste it three times a b and c now I print here c now the interview will, interview will give you two or three option and they will just ask you to predict what is output in this particular case now here I think most of you might give the first case that what we are doing uh, we are taking the output and then we are adding it to input and then returning the input so for the first time when you call a uh, this output value will go as a 5 and then input is 0 so 0 plus 5 that means input become 5 return 5 next time when, I, when again you call now well, there can be two particular uh, scenario either this input again becomes 0 or the input is 5 in this particular case okay so if input is 5 in the in the next scenario then the output from for b will be 15 otherwise output for b will be also 10 and the same thing goes for the c if the input is 0 then the output is 15 if the input is uh, 15 then the output is 30 okay so in most of the case either you will give the answer as 30 or you will give the answer as 15 most probably i think many of us get confused and give the answer as 15 thinking that this we are passing as 15 and then 15 plus 0 is 15 and then 15 getting written and here is the twist the answer for this again i suggest you that think a little bit and comment you whether we are able to get the actual answer in this particular scenario and I say that the answer is 30 in this case and see if you see the answer is 30 now the question comes why why it is 30 why not 15 why not any other value now try to understand it now if you see in line number 76 I am creating a object of this particular closer okay now when you create an object of it that means in that particular case what will what will happen that this value will get in a slice input and it becomes zero okay now when you are writing this particular line let a equals to op of 5 in that particular case this part of closer is getting executed okay not this remember when you call this it only execute this closer not the whole closer because whole closer you are keeping this as a object here so when you are calling 
that a equals to op of 5 only this part is getting executed okay so this is not getting this input is not getting any slice every time it is getting any slice only for the first time so for the first time when you call this value the input becomes 5 in this and in that particular case when you call it b equals to op of 10 now input is already 5 now what you are doing you are doing 5 plus 10 that means it becomes 15 and the same thing it becomes 15 plus 15 30 okay so what is actually happening here that the closer is just running in this particular block okay and then it captures the value like it this value is in a slide and then it is capturing the same reference every time it is not creating a new F reference okay so that is one point which you have to remember and here's the here comes the another concept that closures are reference type not the value type now sometimes they might ask you that apart like most of us know uh, difference between uh, struct and uh, uh, classes and we say class is reference type now, apart from class which is let's say that if i ask you that what are the reference type in swift most of us will just answer class so we'll just remember that uh, closure is also a reference type okay and in this case it is capturing this value and it is not getting reset every time okay and that's the reason that answer in this particular case is 30 not 15 okay so that's all about this uh, session where you no know, i discuss about some of the common questions that is basically asked on the closures in the, your machine round test hope you really enjoy this video and if you have any doubts please leave your comment and yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.